So, we're going to do a video about how to have a healthy guinea pig. So, we're going to put her in this little thing of water. We're going to get her all wet. Let's get all the dirt off of her and stuff. All the old hair. Mm-hmm. Crud. Look how dirty her water's getting again. Yeah. So, when you're done getting her all wet, and we have these little tiles we can put her on. So, Mommy, can you put her on the tiles? Mm -hmm. There she can play. Well, like, she can play. She's going to shake in a minute. Let's let her shake and then I'll try her. And the tiles can't really, like, hurt her feet, but we don't want her to, her feet to get, like, infected. So, we, like, that's why we put the tiles there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and shake, Guinea. Shake. 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 Well, she did shake. Well, the first time we tried it, she shaked. Mm -hmm. I want her to shake again to get that, like, the whole gobs of water off of her. Well, I'll just dry her, okay? Okay, so now we're going to dry her. Yeah. Hi. And when your guinea pig squeaks like that, that means she's happy. Hi, Harry. Hi. You look funny. <laughs> you look funny. Should I put her back in her cage? Get the cup. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go get her a little comb so we can get all her hair on. Get me. Silly. Oof. And if you comb your guinea pig after you give her a bath, it'll get all the hair that the water didn't get and all the old dirt and stuff mm -hmm. from her cage. Don't eat the thing. <laughs> don't eat the bathtub. Yeah, don't eat the bathtub. Okay, so when you think she's good, when you think she's good, you can um, Get the towel. Okay, so she can play around. Mm -hmm. So. And if you leave your guinea pig outside for too long, I would at least make sure um, there is no, like, way she can get out. 
and know how to have a active guinea pig. So let's go ahead and put this. Okay. You take her out. Can you put her in the pen for you? So now we're gonna put her in the pen. And Giddy is her name, and she's a three-year-old guinea pig. What's Guinea's favorite thing to do? I think her favorite thing to do is well, eat. <laughs> She hasn't been outside in a long time, huh? This is nice. We have a nice hot day. You can't fit through there. She used to. Yeah. Sort of. Tell the camera why. You can't leave your guinea pig outside in a thing like this alone for a long time. Well, the reason why you shouldn't is because, um, well, you don't want, like, a a, a big bird to come down and get them. Um, and, and if it's too hot outside, they can dehydrate, and you have to make sure it's not too cold. Mm -hmm. This is good for guinea to shed outside, too. Hey, do you, you want to say anything? No? Nothing? Okay, so that's how to keep your guinea pig active, healthy, and make sure you feed her good, okay? So, that's how to have a healthy guinea pig. And if there's no fur behind her ear, it's pretty natural for there to be not for not mm -hmm. for there not to be fur right there. I'm gonna feed her clover through the little hole. Hi, Guinea. Want some food? Hi, Guinea. See it? She's looking at me. Guinea. Hi, Guinea. Okay, so if there's no fur, the back of your in the back of your guinea pig's ear, like right there. It's perfectly natural. Oh, good view. Okay, so that's how to keep your guinea pig healthy and active.